Greetings to nearly 21,000 subscribers and the people who haven't yet subscribed. I hope you consider that today. So, this is it. The last one. This is, I, I said I was going to do this. When I eventually finished my build, I was going to come on and I was going to show you the the labour of basically my live streams over the last however long it's been. Since the DLC launched, I've basically been doing live stream after live stream, well, say live stream, mainly one a week for about four to five hours a week. And you and me have basically taken a little journey on building up a mine from scratch to make it sort of okay. You know, to basically be sort of proud of what I was doing. And in the last live stream I did, I was using the creative mode because it was getting to a point where I'm going to have to use so much stuff that I may as well just spawn it in. So if you want the creative mode, you basically go into the, uh, the menu on the front of the game, go down to mods, bring in the mods and go from there. I did do a video on it a while ago. If you have any questions, it's in the comment section. So here we are at Waterside, a Volcalidus to uh, the DLC for Hydroneer. <laughs> so... I built a driveway that basically goes down all the way to my build and as you can see we got my garage full of like my vehicles each one has its own separate hole so we've got the hauler the roller the thaw tank the bike and the truck now I could have put in an automated like filling station but I gotta be honest couldn't be bothered so I'm more than happy of just having this and fill up whichever one I was gonna use the next part is this now, I did use um, the attachment lamps for this, but they're a little bit pants. So I have to go back, I have to go into my storeroom quick and turn it all on. There you go. The storeroom is, it has the uh, the light switch for all of those lights. It basically just gives the build a little bit more of depth. And you can see all the sort of workings that I put into it to make it look a bit like a natural working mine. And obviously we had to go down tiers in order to get down to a certain level. I, I thought that would be a really good way to actually incorporate the actual design into it. Now I know it's just a computer game. You don't have to do this much detail. But you know what? If you do this much detail and you mess around with things like this, you might as well do things all right. Now I could have put in a little girder in here as well, but you know, we're, we're pushed. So we're all right. I left these ones out here because I'm constantly using lava pipes and I was all right with that. And it's sort of like... It, it gives you that whole, well, we're still it's still a work in mind. We might need new pipes. We can just lob them down. It's all right. Now, I'm going to take you inside my house, which isn't a lot. The house isn't great. And the reason why the house isn't great is because there's not really a lot of customization in this game compared to the base game. So we're going to come into my house. We've got a table and chairs. We've got a bar, a bedroom, which is just a bed. I've got no cabinets, no ornaments, no nothing. And in here would have been, if we had one, a bathroom and everything else. So... Yeah, it was all good. I'd have put like a little kitchen along here. We'd have been fine, but obviously we don't have one. And I wasn't going to sit and just go, well, you know, here's a, t here's a table with nothing on it. I can just explain this to you. Now, the reason why I put a balcony on the outside of the whole thing is just so you could look over the mine and everything whilst you're up here. And you'd be like, oh, look at this. It's so pretty. And you can look over and everything just looks all right. And it's all good. And then my, I, I, for every single one of the conveyor belts up here, I tried to make them look, an actual look like an actual bit of scenery. So it looked a little bit more complete. So that's what I did to my actual conveyor belts. I put the little guardrail on and made them all look a little bit more better. I just added little bits to make it look like an actual working mine. And I think it gives it a bit more characteristic instead of just leaving like belts floating. It's always nice to just bring things up a level and just show, you know, it could actually be just like it's a, it's on supports. It's completely good. So going into my workshop, obviously we've got all our bits and pieces here. We've got our money, we've got shard bars, we've got our a, a, like an achievement thing. We've got all the things you unlock in here and then just all the bits that you carry on using. And this is all right. This is all quite nice. And it's just, it's, I do have room for the other two carts. I just didn't bring them in. Um, and then you've got all your tools. And then the bits and pieces that I do for actual mines. So drills, harvester, water, lay, you know, the um, the automated smelter. Now, some people did say that I shouldn't have bothered with the automated smelters, but the thing with the smelters is they sort of help but reduce a little bit of the lag. There's no point in ragging everything up here just for, like, laughs. So, yeah, it, w it was definitely needed. Going down onto Tier 2, we used to just have a little platform here. But I'm, I decided to make it part of the actual design. Um, basically just make the mine bigger and better. And all this is supposed to be like, you know, we're, we've dug into the ice, we're, we're supporting it and so on. 
and then we've got all the like the roof supports and everything else so actually it looks a little bit more better now obviously these do just look like giant viewing platforms but if you go into like an open if you go into underground mining they always have these like little levels that could be like pulled off to do something else and maybe this was just like an abandoned section or it, it ran out of ore so you had to move down and go deeper into the mine and that's what all that is down there handrails definitely have to have handrails just in case um, the only thing I didn't do down here was to really decorate the actual um, conveyor belts. I did for here, so you couldn't fit your ears, trap your fingers in. But around here, it's just, this is a bit more like, you know, not quite 100% safe, but, you know, it'll be okay. Don't worry. As we come down to the final floor, it's all the same. Basically, we've supported up the roof. We brought up another layer, layer just so we could actually build all this. And unfortunately, due to the joys of my design and everything else and where I wanted to put things, I couldn't quite put a pillar down in front of the design I actually wanted to do. Now, I do want to turn these on, but in order to turn these on, it's going to be the last thing I do. Now, I'm going to say this like live. Is The reason why I'm saying this is because when I put the mod on, I either have to remove the mod straight away and delete it, or, well, I don't have to delete it, but I have to delete the components because the components can actually make the game crash, which does suck a bit. So, so Itchy's mod does work, but if you ever put these into your game, you do have to like take them off and remove them each time. So I'm gonna change this one to like a light blue. I'm gonna change this one to a ready orange. Don't know what color that's supposed to be. And I'm gonna change this one to the green. Well, okay, well, it's going to be a different colour. So, what I want to do is I want to turn on all the lights, but I don't want to I don't want to run the machines, so we'll get around to that in a minute. Now, I, had, I put my harvester onto concrete blocks, but I accidentally removed one, so let me just put this back. And I left this gap here because I do tend to take a shortcut through here all the time, and then I duck under. Now, whilst I was in my live stream, I did say that I would have preferred to have like an actual way of supporting the cables as well to make it look like they're just not like floating in the air. We used to be able to, but the tool that we would have used, which was the X cut tool, basically um, Max took it out of the game because no one was really using it. And I sit there and just go, I could have used that now. Well, there we go. So what I want to do is I'm going to take off all of these. And the reason why I'm going to take them off is because I'm not actually going to run the mine. But I want to show it all lit up, just because I think it deserves it. After everything it's done, I think we'll be okay. So first off, let me go and turn on the actual um, the RGB, and then we go and pull these levers, and then I can show you everything when it's all lit up. And it looks, in fairness, it looks really pretty. And there we go. So the lights down there represent that that power is on, so you've got the drills, you've got the harvester, you've got all of this on, and that's all good. The lights around the top give it a little bit more sort of like depth and characteristic when it comes to the actual driveway and the don't fall off zone. And the greenhouse with my drills in it literally just run. Now, the one thing I will say is with, a, with the setup like this, as it is, it will run at about three frames per second. The lights and everything give off, they, they take a lot of the frames out of the game. So if you're going to use lights and everything else, be warned. They they don't very they don't mix very well with the other processes within the game. They are a little bit hit and miss. If you're going to use lights, use the little cable ones. They don't really like kill the game as much. But the FPS when it comes to just the big lamps alone, you really do know, when you've got like a hundred of them running, they, you do really notice the frames do drop quite a bit. But there we go. I'm I'm completed. I'm done. I don't I'm basically finished with this now so i want to say thank you very much to all the people who have joined me in the live streams it's been awesome to have you all there it's been awesome to have this little game going and um maybe towards the end of the year we'll do another run through you know or maybe into next year we'll see how things go so i will come back to this and i will play it during a live stream and stuff but unless there's any new content which i doubt because max has said so I'm pretty much guaranteed that this is basically the last actual video that I have to record. And I, I sort of, yeah, I, I'm sort of done. It's been nice. It's been good to actually have all of this processes and all this stuff done and finished. And finally being able to sit there and just go, you know what? Out of all the stuff I've learned and all the stuff that I, I've done in this game, it's all nice to see it all come back to like one whole package. You know, building houses was something we never did when we first started playing the game. 
um, building garages for trucks and stuff we never really bothered with until a little bit later on being able to add lights and everything it's, everything you see in this is basically a culmination of the last couple of years of playing the game and it's nice to see the evolution of it all finally get to a point where anyone can pick that up as a play and 99% of the time not really have a problem but there you go that's how we're done and I'm gonna be honest it's been fun it's been awesome and yeah like I said at some point in the future I'll probably come back and we'll do a live stream and we'll just uh, we'll see how it all goes so until my next one I want to say thank you very much for coming by thank you very much for checking out my build and uh, yeah it's, it's awesome so until my next one peace out have fun enjoy everything you guys do and have a great rest of your day hopefully I'll see you later a boom fist bump to you <laughs>